Hi friends! This experiment is aimed at determining the color fastness of textiles of all kinds against wetness and exposure to weather conditions created in a cabinet equipped with a xenon carbon lamp. For this experiment we use a color fastness device with a xenon carbon lamp, a glass cylinder as the heat filter, a light filter system with six 1R and one UV filters, a standard thermometer, a sample holder, a mask to cover the samples. The test sample is prepared in holder sizes. Our opaque cardboard was prepared at 4.5 cm by 13 cm in holder sizes. The samples are prepared in a certain size of 4.5 cm by 13 cm by placing the opaque cardboard on our test samples. Two samples are prepared in this way. The prepared sample is glued to the opaque cardboard or attached to it with a stapler. The prepared sample is placed in the sample holder. The sample, which is placed in the holder, is prepared by attaching a mask and the part that is exposed to light remains open. The samples prepared in this way are for the blue reference samples. There are three different methods in this standard and the second method allows us to test multiple samples. We cut the sample at 1 cm by 2.5 cm from the blue reference with a ruler. We cut the sample that is marked along a straight line. We use the opaque cardboard again to put the blue scale. We cut the opaque cardboard at 2.5 cm by 13 cm. The prepared sample and blue reference pile are punched to the first starting point on the cardboard. In the same way, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth reference samples are punched and then the blue scale is formed. Our blue scale is covered and one third of each reference is exposed to light. The blue scale is put into a special apparatus that is in the shape of a glass cylinder 
so that it doesn't get wet. Firstly, we put it into the blue scale holder and then we put it into the glass cylinder shaped box. These prepared samples are put into the color fasteners against the light device. The samples that are prepared for color fasteners against the weather test are put into the Xenon Alpha test device. The Xenon Alpha test device has a cooling system and it has got six 1R filters, one UR filter, a glass cylinder for beat insulation and a Xenon Alpha lamp in the middle of the device. The other holders are put inside the device and we make sure that there are no empty space remains in the holders. The most important point in this test is that we must be careful not to exceed the temperature over 60 degrees centigrade when drying the sample. We place the holders and reference samples inside the device. This is a special holder that prevents the reference samples from getting wet. We close the device after we have placed the test samples. We expose the samples to sprinkling for one minute and to light for 29 minutes in order to determine the color fastness against weather conditions. Firstly, we choose the standard program. In this program, the filter system is checked first. 61R, 1UR filter. We first press the data button and then the enter button. We check the program parameters that we entered earlier. They should read 45 for energy, CHT for thermometer heat control, 38 degrees centigrade for heat not to exceed 60 degrees centigrade, the water sprinkling will be at the first step, but will not be at the second one. The humidity value will not be entered at the first step because this is the water sprinkling step and the humidity will be entered as 40% for the second step. As for duration, we set one minute for water sprinkling, 29 minutes for light and 40 hours as the total test duration. The tolerance of the entered values of the sample is checked by pressing the enter button. If there are no errors, the device is started by pressing the start button. The test device works at the turning mode and it applies the same amount of light on the samples in the front and the back. When exposing the samples to fading process, the reference sample prepared as the blue scale is covered with a mask. The test is ended when a fading that is equal to 4 according to the grayscale appears on the sixth blue woolen reference. The sample is removed and the blue color change is evaluated by comparing the sample with the scale. In the sixth blue wool reference, the test is stopped when a fading that is equal to 4 according to the grayscale appears. The specimen is taken from the parts of the sample that were exposed to the light for the same period of time. The test sample and original sample are placed se The test sample and original sample are placed side by side and then the color difference is determined by comparing them with the blue scale. The levels are between 1 and 8, whereby level 1 is the worst value and level 8 is the best. An exact result can be given 
and the color difference between the exact values 5 to 6 can be given as well.